Okay, let's do a lake path tour. Let's see how it's looking down here. What the temperature drops when you go in the woods, the temperature drops. It feels good back here as long as you keep moving, so the mosquitoes can't get you. Oh, here's a bump. I wish I had image stabilization. I'd be doing a lot better. Sneak up on a snake. A snake. Oh, try this way. I don't think we'll be sneak up on anything making all the dragon. Hopefully, there's not a tree down blocking the path or something. I haven't been back here in a while. The water's been so high. We've been underwater right now. Water's been higher than this point. See the water's down over 10 feet from where it was at its peak, probably down 15, 16 feet because it's down at, was that the 316? It's down to 300 now. So the water's gone down 16 feet. Imagine that. A 50,000 acre lake, 16 feet. That's a, a huge volume of water. And I think the, the uh, acreage of the lake spans up to about 90,000 when it's up that high. And then it goes down to about 50,000, and it's probably around 300, where it's supposed to be now. At least we might even have a little bit of beach. Nice thing when it floods, it washes this point off. This is the point where I like to hang out. It's actually a good depth now for bringing the boat up. A little bit of maintenance to do, move some tree limbs out of the way. It's still higher than it usually is this time of year. about. 